Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Golden Globe-nominated actress, writer, and producer. You know her from her critically acclaimed show, Insecure. The first two episodes of her new show, Rap begins streaming on HBO Max July 21st. She also stars in Vengeance, which is in theaters July 29th. Please welcome back to the show our friend Issa Rae, everybody. <laughs> I have had the pleasure of interviewing in person. I also, you were very kind to do a Zoom interview during the pandemic. Yes. And of all the people I interviewed on Zoom, you had the longest and loudest doorbell ring. <laughs> it was already embarrassing. I have one of those old school, it goes, y'all wanna hear it? It's da, 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 da. And it was definitely, you know, it was the time of the pandemic where UPS was just coming all day. And <laughs> I think you were trying to tough it out. You were like, you know what? They'll just leave it there. And I think we heard the full doorbell ring three or four times. Yeah, and you, you called it out. It was, it was, I was very package popular, so <laughs> sorry that I got You did say packages. you were going to replace it. You, that was your promise to us. Did you? I didn't, but I let the battery die. <laughs> okay. So now, now people just knock. That's like the really, you thought way. ahead. I did, yeah, I did that on purpose. I planned that. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on your many Emmy nominations. How did you find out uh, that you were nominated this year? You know, I had, like, it's nerve-wracking to, to know that the nominations are coming up, and I yes. accidentally found out that morning, and I was like, oh, man. And then I just kept myself busy, and I was in the middle of a meeting, and then my phone kept going off, and I let out, like, a... <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the, the meeting stopped, and they were like, do you want to elaborate? And I was like, well, no, we're talking about important business right now. <laughs> and, then, and then they found out later and congratulated me. It must feel special, extra special, because Insecure wrapped up an incredible uh, five-season run, and this was, in a way, its last chance to get honored, and it was really cool that people remembered it. That part, like, it was... We came out in December, and usually... You know, the Academy, yeah. there's so many great shows and people will forget. And so it was just nice to get a nice, like a nod going out. And you know, our cinematographer was nominated, Ava Bukowski, and our editor, Nina Herb. So it was just to, nice to be remembered. And it, hopefully it encourages people to go watch it. I do think as a show, it is going to endure really uh, for a long time because it is such a wonderful show about friendship. And I think that like that does, that does not date badly because people, I feel like even though the world changes, the way people are friends is uh, very consistent. Friendship is not dated. It is not no, dated. It, it's it's staying in style. <laughs> That's beautiful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you also, this is very exciting, you were working on uh, uh, your Emmy Day. <laughs> I was. I took a shift uh, at my local coffee shop, Hilltop. Yeah. Uh, no, but that was already planned. You're a part owner. I am. Uh, yeah. So yes. when when you say my local coffee shop, you mean it's literally my local <laughs> yeah. coffee shop is down the street from my house. <laughs> yeah, because when I say, oh, never mind. You know, <laughs> people like you don't understand us small people who who just frequent them, exchange money for coffee. Oh, um, okay. So, uh, but you look like you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I look like that way because you know I was supposed to I was supposed to like make drinks for people. That's what a barista does, and. I was, <laughs> I was supposed to have a training for at least 10 to 15 minutes, but I was late for my shift. Okay. Um, and so they didn't get to train me, but they were like, it's okay, you'll just work the register. So I was like, oh, okay, I got that. And, but there was a really long line, shout out to everybody who came. And so I was kind of slow on the register. And so they let me get about like five customers in. And then they were like, you know, we're, just, we're gonna have you call names, call names out. <laughs> So that's what I did for the rest of the time. I just, but I was a great name caller. Wow. Like I was good for that. So it does seem like you were uh, demoted twice in one show. <laughs> <I was laughs> heavily demoted, but you know what? Uh, you try it. Yeah, no. <laughs> but respect, respect to the staff. They were so patient because there were a lot of orders to fill, and I was trash. So. It does. It does seem like an episode of Undercover Boss where they figure it out right away. They're yeah. like. I think that I think the lady really? making coffee is our boss. <laughs> in on it. <laughs> she yeah. doesn't. Um, this was uh, so. This is in Inglewood. Yeah, um, it is. Your coffee shop, and you uh, uh, you were honored recently. Uh, they gave you a key, the key to the city. They did. And there's the key to the city. Yes. Um, 
It's uh, I, it's funny. Like when I was little, I definitely assumed like it was a like a functional key. Like when you heard "Key to the City," it should be. Yeah. Honestly, it should be a, a key that just opens up, you know, people's cars, yeah, offices. At the very least, municipal buildings, sure. like library after hours. You know, would love that. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's just a big key. Like <laughs> yeah. it's a big plastic key. And unfortunately, like somebody was like, "Oh, you'll get like all this access, and you yeah. know, maybe you won't have to pay parking tickets." But it doesn't do anything. Like that. It's just. <laughs> What do you even do with it? Like, where's the key now? It's actually in my office propped up. All right. And they sent it, blessings for them, but they sent it all lopsided. So it's like <laughs> a, a diagonal key. So I just have to reframe it and it'll be beautiful. Okay, after. gotcha. But you know, it's, just, it's a great, it's a conversation starter. Like, what is that? Oh, right. it's a, you mean my key to the city? <laughs> That seems like a very aggressive way to start a conversation. <laughs> what is so, that? <laughs> uh, I have a lot more to ask you about your new show. We'll be right back with more from Issa Rae.